Now, Sandra McLemore is a travel industry expert and the host of Travel Market Reports Digital Channel, which is the travel industry's leading trade publisher. Now, Sandra can be seen not only dispensing practical advice to travelers on in-flight TV and cruise line channels, but is also a sought out travel expert contributor for news magazines and channels throughout the world due to her speaking seven languages. Please welcome Sandra McLemore. So Sandra, thank you for being here today. Some people are really caught in tough spots, right? Yeah, thanks for having me, Dr. Phil. It is a super stressful situation. Your guests earlier, I can't imagine how stressed they would be right now. I can't either, but some of this is just the perfect storm of bad circumstances. It's not any one person failing a standard of care. It's like, it's not the cruise line doing something wrong. It's not a particular country or government. It's just a lot of things happening at one time, right? The countries are closing their borders. Airlines are canceling flights. This is a very multifaceted war, Dr. Phil, because people are fighting this on the front lines domestically and internationally. And all of these things that you're talking about, the airlines closing, countries closing their borders, they're all happening simultaneously and with very, very little notice. Well, answer this for me, because I, I understand in talking to the two very nice ladies in India, for my two cents worth, I would take whatever route I had to take to get the hell out of there and get back on U.S. soil. Why would you wait? It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So here's the thing. If you're given an opportunity to leave and you're abroad right now, you should take that opportunity, whether it's by commercial aircraft or it's a charter aircraft organized by your government. There's absolutely no reason to stay. The only people that should be staying are people that don't have an option to leave, but everybody else absolutely should be leaving right away. Well, they're saying we don't know how much it's going to cost what the hell difference does it make? I mean, it, you get home, their penalty is they take your passport. Uh, frankly, they could have my passport. I'm not sure that this is enforceable anyway. No, absolutely not. And here's the thing. So the State Department have a system in place for when this happens. And I think it's important for us to understand that at any given time, Dr. Phil, there's over 90 million Americans traveling somewhere around the world every single year. So when COVID-19 hit and it became an issue, especially for Americans traveling, there could have been millions of Americans all over the world. So in this case, what happens is that they are required to get out as quickly as possible, preferably on a commercial carrier. But if push comes to shove and that's not an option available for them, the government can charter private aircraft, commercial aircraft or military aircraft only if that's possible. So that means only if they can land only if the arriving government will allow it. And then in the case that travelers don't have the money to be able to get home, because I think that's a really important point to make, that it's not the government's financial responsibility to bring travelers home. When you set off on a vacation, whether or not you're heading to Banff or to Bali, it is your responsibility to make your way home. Now, if you don't have the money, of course, the embassies will help you. They have financial programs in place. And if you don't have ability to be able to borrow money, then yes, you'll be asked to sign a promissory note so that when you get home, and you can make arrangements to pay that back. But I agree with you, Dr. Phil. I would be heading home at any cost whatsoever. 